Welcome to The Daily. It's Friday, July 15th with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Sagini. A big day up in Toronto yesterday. Toronto making some moves, bringing in Canadian international Terry Dunfield and Ryan Johnson from the San Jose Earthquakes. Johnson, part of a big trade that sent three players in the other direction. Well, Jason, Aaron Vinter looking to make those changes that he's talked about in terms of improving Toronto FC. Start with Terry Dunfield, the Canadian international coming over from the Whitecaps, gives them another option in the center of the midfield. He'll probably line up alongside Torsten Frings, the German uh, ex-international coming over, the DP who was signed a couple weeks ago. Raises questions about where Julian de Guzman fits into this midfield as well, but I think the Dunfield does give them another option there. It obviously, he showed with Vancouver that he can be a leader in there. He was captain for several of the games out there for Vancouver, and I also think he has a lot of, uh, a lot of energy going forward and moving all through that midfield. And going the other way to San Jose, Nana Adekora, Alan Gordon, and Jacob Peterson. Frank Gallup saying he thinks Gordon and Adekora are, are guys who are going to come mm -hmm. off the bench, add some depth to the team, but that Jacob Peterson finally uh, gets them the answer that they've been looking for at right midfield. Well, I think that Peterson gives them that speed and the work rate that they've needed out there, especially if they're going to start to get more uh, service into the box where Wondolowski can finish a, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I do think they're going to miss Ryan Johnson because I, I really liked what Ryan Johnson did for Jamaica in the Gold Cup. I think he improves Toronto in the attack for sure. I do wonder whether San Jose they might have a move in the back of their minds somewhere for another striker up top. All right, well, San Jose taking on Columbus this weekend. Remember for Columbus, Jeff Cunningham looking to break the all-time record for goals in MLS. So he's tied right now with Jaime Moreno after he scored that goal against Vancouver. Moving on to some other action from this weekend, Greg. Seattle hosting Colorado. This is a big matchup, of course. Last time they played in Colorado, Brian Mullen broke Steve Zakwani's leg. That will be the storyline that everyone's going to follow, Jason. However, there are some other great storylines in this game, especially the attacks. Watch out for Connor Casey. He is starting to feel it again. He's starting to score goals. He's had a goal in each of his last two games, and Colorado have been very quietly beginning to show their form as they've gotten healthy again. Omar Cummings also healthy again. That helps them a great deal. On the other side, Freddie Montero showed what Freddie Montero can do when he's really in the game. Against Portland, he was magnificent, and his own teammates after the game said, we just told him that he needed to have a little bit more motivation, a little more energy, and you can see what Freddie Montero is capable of. So I'm actually expecting a lot of fireworks out there at uh, CenturyLink. Not about the Mullen thing, but actually about goals. All right, well, that game is 4 p.m. Eastern time on Fox Soccer Channel, so you can all check it out. Other news from Seattle yesterday, though. Siggy Schmidt yep. signs an extension. He will stay with the team through 2015. And remember the line that Siggy said, if they don't win it this year, it might be time to blow this team up. So now we have something to watch for. Well, I don't think he's going to blow up this team no matter what because they have continually improved each mm -hmm. year. Will they win it this year? We'll see. But Ziggy now has a couple more years. He was actually on Extra Time Radio yesterday talking about his team and how he feels like he has great depth Mm -hmm. all the way through. He feels like he can go 18, 19 deep without having a drop in quality. All right, another game we want to get to for the weekend. FC Dallas is hosting DC United. DC coming off the upset on the road to New York. Mm -hmm. Can they do it in Dallas as well? Uh, it's going to be a little, a little more difficult. I think the Dallas actually harder to beat at home than New York are right now, certainly. Dallas, it really doesn't matter who goes on the field for them. They continue to get results. Breck Shea continues to have an MVP quality season. For DC, though, it's all about Dwayne De Rosario. Since he's arrived and we saw him in that game against New York, he has shown what he can do in the attack. And I give a lot of credit to Ben Olsen for changing his formation, changing his style, if you will, as a coach and how he wants to play that has made De, uh, De Rosario have some success. All right, one final game we want to get to in L.A. this weekend. The World Football Challenge began on Wednesday, mm -hmm. gets going again this weekend. The L.A. Galaxy taking on Real Madrid, a rematch uh, that they had last year where the Galaxy actually went into halftime up 2-0. Yeah, they did, but they didn't get the win. So ultimately, this is also a question of David Beckham playing against Real Madrid again. And you know what? The L.A. Coliseum is going to be rocking on this night. I'm looking forward to this game a lot because I actually think this is one of those times when Landon Donovan is going to be at, at the top of his game. He loves big games. He loves the spotlight. As soon as you put out Ronaldo and Benzema out there for Real Madrid, this is the kind of game where uh, Landon Donovan says, well, okay, they're okay, but I'm pretty good too, and I'm going to go out there and show everybody. 
All right, well, you can watch that game 10 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. One more reminder, Extra Time Radio yesterday, we had Ziggy Schmidt. We also had Nick LaBroca from Chivas USA and Robots, Greg. <laughs> Robots should be on every episode of Extra Time, I think, because they are World Cup champions. The U.S. robotic, uh, I don't know, humanoid team were the World Cup champions, and we talked to the guy who was in charge of the design of that, and he explained exactly how they won this one. Yeah, very interesting stuff. I uh, want to remind everyone also one more game that you have to check out this weekend, the Women's World Cup team in the finals of the FIFA World Cup from Germany. So that game is Sunday afternoon, 2.45 on ESPN. That's all we have for the Daily Today. Enjoy the action this weekend we'll be back on monday mls fans be sure to follow at mls on twitter for all of the latest league news and updates and don't forget to like our facebook page at facebook mls where you can access the interactive mls fan zone